Hello, let us present the way how to use multidimensional matrices in SysML simulation. And here you can find documentation how to define uh, matrices. You see it's built using built-in math. You can actually define any type of matrices. And then perform uh, functions with them. Again, all those functions are uh, suitable with the matrices. Um, so how that looks in the model here, we can see opaque uh, uh, actions that could be opaque behavior, could be const parametric constraint. And uh, here in the specification, you see that we have modern language and language is built in math. Uh, uh, and here we define a uh, uh, tree on tree matrix. Uh, here we calculate the uh, size of the matrix. He, we perform more functions on that. We calculate the mean. Here is the answer. And then we define another matrix, as you can see here. We calculate the max. Then we multi calculate max between those two matrices and assign to X. And then also we add two. And as you can see here, for example, between this uh, is 1.1, 2.2. Here is like 3.1, 4.2. So two is added to each member of the matrix. And all of them are using built-in math. If you will run the simulation in this activity diagram, you will see results. You see we have definition here. And um, <clears throat> what uh, is the limitation here is that uh, those uh, values, they are not part of the block value properties. If they become a uh, as you can see here, there is no block and no uh, value properties. If they become part of that block value properties, the, the n number will not be written correctly and will be flattened. Uh, so uh, if we want to perform equations, we can do it like that and then we can actually provide the results but and also input the values uh, from value properties, but not to store them here in value properties. Uh, the good thing is that all those variables of built-in math, they are global, so we can use them here, defined here. And then as you can see here, we are using them in different places without actually passing them. They can be uh, reused in various behaviors and parametric equations uh, anywhere during the simulation as a global variables. Uh, and also in case of MATLAB simulation, so here, for example, we are calling MATLAB. Uh, so specification, you see language is MATLAB, as you can see here. And that also is the way how we can pass uh, multidimensional matrix to MATLAB and get results uh, and use the calculation. So let's see how that works. So let, first of all, uh, let's kill uh, current math engine behind the scene, MATLAB engine. And then let's start uh, MATLAB and let's uh, engage into the shared workspace in order that we visually would see that MATLAB can see, for example, this one uh, built in language uh, MATLAB matrix and uh, still calculations performed correctly. So let's engage into the shared engine as you can see we first of all kill matlab which is already integrated uh, uh, instance of matlab and then uh, we use the command to connect that as an instance of shared math solver to execute when we are executing uh, matlab command and you see matlab is starting and that's actually this instance of matlab you see we got the result and you see the V, value V is actually here. You see three on three matrix. If we we'll click, we get the matrix and you see this is the same matrix. So we can actually interact with MATLAB through the matrix, multidimensional matrices and uh, perform the analysis.